Hey there, uh, just coming home from a pretty far drive and I realized that my mileage is a little high for the year of the car. Um, and it got me thinking about, you know, the journey in life. Um, it got me questioning where has all the mileage gone, you know? I'm 34, where have I been? Um, what makes me me? Where am I going? These are all, you know, questions that we, we tend to think about every now and then. Um, but we don't we don't give it serious thought. Um, so right now I'm going to give you a quick overview of who I am, where I've been, um, and a few items that, that represent um, me. So to start off, we're in my car. Uh, it's a 2021 Subaru Crosstrek. So this isn't a, a car advertisement, but um, I love this car. I put, I think, 62,000 miles in, in a few years on it. So it's, it's taken me to quite a few places. It is symbolic to how I grew up. You know, my parents would take me out um, to national parks. They would take me traveling. They sent me to Canada by myself once with a with a family friend. Um, it's that that need to explore that was instilled in me. You know, don't be complacent in where you're at. Always explore new places, whether that's you know actual places or could be places in in career advancement. Um, but it's always a need to to get out there and to see what else is there. And then, coming back around here, sorry about the video, I have this picture of me and my wife in my speedometer. Um, and this picture right here symbolizes our, our 17 year commitment to each other so far. We met in high school. Um, I wasn't in a great place. I was barely about to, to graduate, and I met her. Um, we got together, and she's the reason for my successes. Sorry, I'm a little sick. I'm not crying. Um, she is my rock. She is my inspiration. She is a person I want to be. Um, still working on it. She is kind-hearted. She's a nurse. Um, yeah, so she, she's everything to me and putting her in my speedometer in the car that I love going the places that I go. I always, I'm always reminded of her, um, and how much I love her. Second item, it's going to be this dog bed that my dog's on. Rhea. Hey pup. Uh, dog bed just symbolizes her, you know, she, she is my child. Where uh, my wife and I decided not to have um, children. We're just going to stick with the dog. There she is. She's a little tired. But we try to take her everywhere. Um, she isn't officially a emotional support dog. But my wife and I working in the ER. You know, she she gets the, the brunt of it. Of our frustrations. But we love her so much. Uh, if we go around back here, I'll take you to the trunk. So my trunk, uh, Rhea's going to join us. I got my tool bag. Yeah, a whole bunch of tools. The tool bag symbolizes always being ready. Um, one day I took a fire course. Didn't bring up a pencil or a pen I got lectured on it for a good 10 minutes about being prepared uh, ever since then whether it's at work at home um, just in life you know I try to be as prepared as possible and I, I hold that very close to uh, to who I am as a person you know you never know what kind of situation you're going to be in um, and I always feel like if you're not prepared for a situation how are you going to respond um, adequately 
So I always try to be prepared. I got my tool bag, I have my traction boards, um, but that's just for the car. You know, in life, I, I try and um, prepare for whatever situation I know I'm gonna get myself into. Um, so that, that item, like the tool bag, represents um, me trying to be prepared for whatever life throws at me. Second item is gonna be my trauma shears. I don't know if you see how big this is. This is as big as my face. Uh, my trauma shears represent my career. Uh, I've been in emergency medicine for about, I wanna say seven years now. I did uh, two years on a 911 ambulance as an EMT. Now I work at a level two trauma, STEMI and comprehensive stroke emergency room. Um, as an ER tech, which is an emergency room technician. Um, the shears itself represent my love for emergency medicine. I feel like it's it's an area where you always learn. Um, there's not a day where it's boring. There's never a day where you see the same thing over and over again, you know? Um, one day it could be a thoracotomy another day could be a tracheotomy either way like it's it's always exciting um lots of opportunities to learn and grow and i one day hope to aspire to be a trauma nurse um i mean how, how cool is it to to see the things that <clears throat> other people don't see um but at the same time, of course, you know, taking the patient's side into consideration, having empathy um, is also important. But the trauma shares represent my love for emergency medicine. My last item, my headphones. Now, I got these out of my gym bag. But the headphones are symbolic of me drowning out the noise. Um, whether that noise is my own in my head the noise around me. Um, it's the ability to silence the thoughts that hold me back. Um, I have social anxiety. I have depression. And I have ADD. Those things don't mix very well, especially when um, I'm trying to get homework done. I'm trying to concentrate on a task. Um, I'm trying to concentrate on my marriage, whatever it is. Um, the headphones represent me trying to drown out the noise. I also love music. Who doesn't? Uh, but for me, that's very important because um, Spotify says that I have listened to over 50,000 minutes of music. Uh, but drowning out the noise allows me to appreciate the moment um, whether it's just driving to work you know being appreciative that I actually have a job to drive to um, doing homework you know I am I just turned 34 and I have a lot of self-doubt I'm too old you know to get into a profession I haven't done a lot in my life I don't have any savings I still rent um, a lot of things that I can tell myself that I haven't done yet. But I still have to drown out my own noise so I can concentrate on getting better. Um, so yeah, the headphones represent um, me being able to drown out the noise. In this journey in life, you know, we tend to have a lot of aspirations, a lot of goals, a lot of dreams. And I feel like that's really important. Um, but what's equally important is knowing who we are, how we got here, where we're going, so that we can learn, prepare, and really appreciate the now moments in life um, on this journey that we all go through, you know? Um, And it's not an easy one. You know, we're all going to, we're all going to need some all-terrain tires to 
um, and navigate these bumpy roads, um, these unpaved roads that aren't easy that we have to cross to get to where our goal is. Um, so yeah, that's that's me, Ellis, in a nutshell or in a in a car shell. And I hope that we cross paths soon um, and share stories. Thank you so much.